This country, you've got to make your money. Fans, your opening contest on Deep South Wrestling is scheduled for one fall and is a tag team attraction. Introducing first, at 201 pounds, from Johnson City, Tennessee, he is the KID Kid Cash. Welcome to Deep South Wrestling. We're going to open it up with a tag team match. Kid Cash making his way to the ring. Deep South Wrestling fans, at this time, please welcome our boss, the network executive, Mr. Palmer Cannon. Palmer Cannon causing a little bit of chaos to say the very least in the back here. And is it true that you're going to allow me a date with your daughter when she turns 21? No. Uh, Georgia Championship Wrestling, what you going to do, brother, when Hulk Hogan runs wild on you? You're awesome, man. Cut. Nickelback and figured you out on Rock 103 at Stan Masters here till midnight. Now, I was talking earlier about the March store and the people that pass out the yellow stickers. You know, the greeters, they always seem so old, and I'm thinking that's got to be such an easy job. But can anyone do it? I mean, uh, what's it take to get that gig? 323-3103, uh, Rock 103, what's up? Hey, listen, about your Walmart greeter thing, uh, I used to bartend downtown. Um, we had one of the part-time waitresses. Her day job was actually at the uh, Walmart. And it's pretty ironic because I had this almost exact conversation with her when I had a bad experience with one of the greeters. Tell, <laughs> please. Well, I thought it was pretty funny that um, I didn't want to leave a bag. It was at Christmas time a couple years ago. I didn't want to leave this bag of some stuff I bought at uh, don't say the name. a high-end electronics store. There and, you go. Uh, I don't have tinted windows. So, I, you know, I wanted to bring the bag in with me. Well, you know, this old lady, she, uh, like, literally searched my bag, made sure I had a receipt for everything that was in the bag, and I had just walked in the store. Jeez. Yeah, I thought it was pretty messed up that um, some of the old people that were walking in with their bags, she didn't bother taking note and looking in there. Age racist. <laughs> yeah, she was profiling. But as far as the age thing is about getting hired and being one of them, there is no age restrictions because it is against law to discriminate right. against age. Anybody can apply for that position. The reason they... Uh, the what about Georgia Wrestling Promotions and Roger Cantrell? Did he pay the talent? Will he pay the talent? Upcoming shows, will they happen? And what really stopped the Night of Legends show? Read Larry Goodman's updates as he has talked to many people about this issue. Larry's got the scoop here at GeorgiaWrestlingHistory.com. Running out of time, exclusive information on a daily basis. You're not going to want to miss it. And Peach State Pandemonium, Saturday mornings at 11 o'clock. Call in, let us hear from you. Saturday mornings, 11 o'clock, Peach State Pandemonium at Stan Masters. And I'll see you again real soon here on GeorgiaWrestlingHistory.com. So long for now. Rooster Country 106, Danny Masters in on a Monday just after 10 o'clock. And $10,000 up for grabs could be after Brooks and Don. Hard working man, aren't we all? I'm a hard working man. Your country favorites and the man's coming home to Georgia to the firehouse on Saturday night. We've got tickets, your chance to win some coming up. It's Doug Stone on the Rooster. After three. Five nine six five one zero six. We'll play your request all morning long on the Rooster and give you a chance to win ten thousand dollars in a few. All your details at rooster one zero six dot com. Here's Tim McGraw. It was Labor Day weekend. I was. So it's all request all hour long. Five nine six five one zero six. Digging back into the vault, dusting this thing off, and country classic for you. A Rooster country classic from Alabama. It's called High Cotton. I'm sure you remember it. Sit back, relax, enjoy loving it on your lunch hour with Rooster 106. We didn't know the it's about that time of year, isn't it? Let's all head out to the river and enjoy ourselves, maybe to the beaches at least. That'd be nice. Come Wait, they all said the AWA was dead? All head Mitchell, Steve Serino, resurrected it. Jack I'm like, let's give it from God. The AWA title, the AWA promotion is on my shoulders, and I've invaded NWA Spinebuster Championship Wrestling to spread the word. The AWA World Heavyweight Champion has taken over. Steve Carino is here. The champ is in the house.